Hello, my name is Terry Ann Witten. I'm the clinical pharmacist for the coronary care unit at the University of Ottawa Heart Institute. In this presentation, we'll be discussing information that you need to know about each of your medications. The more you know about your medications, the more you become a team player in your own health care. It's estimated that 50% of patients do not take their medications correctly. You need to do everything you can to make sure your drugs are working their best and you are taking your medication as safely as possible. This starts with knowing the name of the medication. All drugs have two names. One is the brand name, for example, Lasix, and the other is the generic name, in this case, furosemide. Sometimes people refer to their drugs by their action. For example, that's my water pill. Or by their description, the little yellow one. It's important to try to learn both the brand and generic names for your drugs. This will help prevent confusion when you speak to different healthcare professionals. Do you know what the medication is for? Make sure you're getting what you think you're getting. Mistakes happen. You want to be sure before you leave the store that the medication you've received is what the doctor intended for you. If you are refilling a prescription and it looks different, be sure to ask the pharmacy whether it is the same drug. How will you know that it's working? Should you notice changes within hours, days, or weeks? Or maybe you won't actually feel any different at all. Should you be monitoring something yourself? Or will this be done by the medical team? How should you take the medication? Some medication should be taken with food. Some should be taken only when you're upright. Some can be harmful if crushed or chewed. Some don't work properly if they're washed down with milk. You need to know the specifics for each of your drugs. When should you take the medication? Some drugs should be taken in the morning, others should be taken at bedtime. For some drugs, precise timing is more important than for others. If you miss a dose, should you take it right away? Should you double the next dose? Maybe you should skip the dose and keep on schedule. If you're not certain, call your pharmacist. Do not double the next dose unless you've been specifically instructed to do so by your healthcare team. How long should you keep taking the medication? Some medications are for chronic conditions and need to be taken for the rest of your life. Some medications are for symptom control and can be adjusted as needed. Some medications, such as antibiotics, are prescribed for a specific number of days, even if you are feeling better. Others are for short-term management and can be stopped as soon as you feel better. It's important to know how long each of your medications needs to be continued. In addition to the effects you want your medication to have, Drugs may have effects you'd rather they didn't. Some side effects are more common than others, and some are more serious. You need to know which are which, how you can avoid them, and what you can and should do about them if they occur. For example, if a medication makes you drowsy, you should avoid driving. Maybe you can take that medication at bedtime and feel fine the next day. Ask your doctor, pharmacist, or nurse which side effects you should report. There may be another medication that is better for you. If you are taking over-the-counter medications, herbal remedies, dietary supplements, or other prescription drugs, or if you drink alcohol, your new medication may act in undesirable ways. It could be ineffective. It could be dangerous. There are ways to avoid some bad interactions, such as scheduling your doses differently, and there are times when the medications themselves should be avoided. Be sure that you're using only one pharmacy and you tell them about all the products you take. Proper storage will ensure that your medication is as effective as possible. Usually this means in a cool, dry, dark place. Sometimes medications are stored in the refrigerator or freezer. For the most part, 
You should not store your medications in the medicine cabinet in your bathroom, where the conditions are often warm and humid. Make sure that they are in a place where children or pets cannot reach them. It's a good idea to clean out your medications once a year. Gather any medications that are expired, are no longer needed, are not in their original container, or have labels that are no longer clear, and take these medicines to your local pharmacy for disposal. How can you remember to take all these meds? Well, try taking them at the same time each day. Associate medications with daily activities, such as brushing your teeth. Use a pill organizer or have your pharmacy prepare a blister pack. Record your doses on a calendar as you take them. If none of these ideas helps, ask your healthcare team whether your regimen can be simplified. Perhaps there are other drugs that do the same job but are taken less frequently. Many pharmacies offer services to help you with managing your medications. Pre-filled pill organizers, delivery service, and automated refills can help simplify the process. If you have trouble opening the pill bottles, ask your pharmacy to put your medicine in a bottle with an easy open lid. If you have trouble reading the prescription label, ask the pharmacist to use large print on the labels. Make sure you are taking advantage of the MedsCheck program. MedsCheck is a program that allows you to schedule a 20 to 30 minute one-to-one -one meeting with your community pharmacist to ensure that you are safely and appropriately using all types of medication. It is a comprehensive medication review and it's free. Physicians do not always have a very good idea of how much the drugs they prescribe are going to cost their patients. Even if you have insurance, it may not cover 100% of the cost. Often, pharmacists can suggest changes or substitutions that will save money. The Ontario Trillium Drug Program is available for people who have high drug costs compared to their income. And the Ontario Drug Benefit Plan has an exceptional access program that may be able to help. Finally, it's important to keep a list of all your medications. Pharmacies can print these lists from their computers or provide booklets that you complete yourself. Some of you may have a vial of life from this hospital that you keep in the freezer. At the end of the presentation, I will provide an excellent website where you can complete a thorough medication record choosing the pages that suit your needs. Your list needs to include the name of all medications, the strength or dose of each medication, and how much and when you take each medication. Also, why you take each medication. Don't forget to include natural and herbal products and vitamins. Just because something is natural doesn't make it safe. These products can interact with your prescription medications and with other natural products. It's important when you list your allergies to include a description of the reaction. This will help your healthcare providers to choose the safest alternatives for you. Keep the list with you in your wallet, purse, or electronic device. Some of the information in this presentation has been adapted from the Knowledge is the Best Medicine website. This program was started in 1994 to help Canadians better manage their own health care. Recent updates include electronic apps and tools that will help patients and caregivers create a full list of their medications. It's natural to have more questions about your medication after you've been taking it for a while. You can call your pharmacist with any question about your medication at any time. Always try to use the same pharmacy so that they have your complete list when you call.